Hey guys, my name is Joey Jensen. I'm with Scales and Tails Utah. We're an educational facility that brings animals out to schools, birthday parties, libraries, fun stuff like that in order to educate the public on these really cool animals right here. Um, today we wanna to film some videos for you guys in order to kind of teach you guys about these since not everybody can come visit us in person. So this right here is Crock-Pot. Crock-Pot is a Morlet's crocodile. This is a young Morlet's crocodile. Um, they're gonna get quite a bit bigger than this. He's maybe about three and a half feet right now. They can get well up to eight, nine feet. Um, they're a crocodile from Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and we have them in captivity here in order to teach you guys about some of the differences between crocodiles and alligators, as well as just teach you about crocodiles in general. Crocodilians here in the state of Utah are illegal to own. We have permits from the DWR saying that we can own these guys. The majority of people do not, and that's how we end up with a lot of these crocodilians. This one here was not confiscated. This one was purchased but from a friend of ours who we have a kind of deal with in order to get these crocodiles. So crocodilians don't make good pets for a number of reasons. These are animals that get very large and can do lots and lots of damage to you. Um, they have the strongest bite force of any animal in the animal kingdom. Even though this one's little, it can still give you stitches, um, take up a finger. Much larger ones can do much worse. They also can have a really long lifespan. There's crocodiles in captivity that are known for being well up to 80 or 90 years old. So if some of you adults out there go out and buy a crocodilian right now, it may outlive you. And if you do something really stupid, it will definitely outlive you. Um, these guys are really, really, really cool animals, but not really cool pets, okay? Along with a lot of our other crocodilians, we have alligators and caiman. Crocodiles are not really one of the best pets in captivity. Crocodiles in captivity are much worse than alligators in ca captivity because crocodiles are known for having a bit of an attitude, as you can see. These guys are much faster than most crocodiles. Um, they can spin on the, or much alligators. They can spin on the dime. They also don't handle stress nearly as well as most alligators. So there are only two alligator species in the world, the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. The Chinese alligator is a um, much smaller alligator that lives in a very small parts of, the, parts of the Yangtze River. There's only about 200 of them left in the wild and there's a small chance they may go extinct within our lifetime, which is really sad. And we like to make sure those guys are protected in captivity through multiple breeding programs growing on. So these guys are not um, endangered or anything like the Chinese alligators are. They're just least concerned. These aren't as much of a worry according to the IUCN red list in captivity. Just because something is legal to own in your state or you can go buy it at a pet store or um, at a reptile expo doesn't mean that you should. These guys are not really a good pet for a majority of people um, unless you really know what you're doing. You have lots of experience to be able to work with these. So a couple cool things about these guys, they are perfectly built for being submarines. They are built for being underneath the water and taking a lot of damage. So you guys can see his eyes right here. If you wanna zoom in there. I'm gonna close his eye and he's gonna open it up and you're gonna see a really fast third eyelid called a nictitating membrane that goes over his eye. So he has a bottom eyelid, a top eyelid, and one that closes sideways. Um, and that sideways one is basically just to keep debris out of his eye. This right here is his ear. His ear can open and close so that it's watertight as well. Um, which means he's got valves in his ears, he's got basically built-in goggles. And then up here at the top of his mouth, you have his nostrils. You can see his nostrils here. His nostrils can open and close as well, so that they're watertight, which is pretty cool because we can't do that. If you look inside of his mouth, you're gonna see a palatal valve or a glottal stopper. The palatal valve or glottal stopper is basically um, an extension of the tongue that stops water from going down his throat. So this, this guy can bite you underwater still, he just can't swallow you. On his back here, he has something called osteoderms. Osteoderm, basically, um, osteo means bone and derm means skin. So he actually has bony plates inside of his skin that act as armor, um, which is even better than diamond armor in Minecraft, right? Um, it's built-in bone armor. So each one of these little squares right here that you're seeing is actually a free-floating piece of bone that's outside of the skeleton that is mainly built for protection from other crocodilians. Because when all your buddies have lots of teeth and really powerful bites, you kind of have to have built-in bone armor to protect yourself, right? It's also used for thermoregulation. There's blood vessels running right underneath these um, that he can stick his back out of the water and help him warm up faster and pump that blood throughout his body. So you may see some blood on the front of his face there. These guys actually shed their teeth. Unlike humans that only have two pairs of teeth in their lifetime, these guys go through three to 4,000 teeth in their lifetime. So right there, you're just seeing some blood that's coming off from a tooth that he shed um, when I was pulling him out of his enclosure. You might also see that I'm kind of grabbing his neck here. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Um, I'm just keeping my cameraman here safe. Um, I also have a very loose grip, as you can see, and there's not much I can do to this animal to hurt it, um, but there is a lot this animal can do to me to hurt me, okay? 
So working with crocodilians is very dangerous. Not as dangerous as people might think though. It's just about as dangerous as like riding a fast motorcycle statistically. But the best way to stay safe from crocodilians is to not touch a crocodilian. If you don't keep one as a pet, if you don't live in a state where you have crocodilians or in a country where you have crocodilians, it's gonna keep you as safe as you possibly can to just stay away from them. If you are in a place that you have crocodilians, there are ways to stay safe around them. One of those is to not feed them. That's the most important thing. Majority of alligator trappers in Florida will say a fed gator is a dead gator. Um, and that goes for most of the US and other countries as well. The better way to tell is actually the integumentary sensory organs. The integumentary sensory organs are actually little pressure sensors um, on his body and his face that let him feel stuff moving around him in the water. They're very sensitive. Um, I can throw something the size of an acorn in his water and he knows exactly where it is, how big it is, and how to get to it. Alligators only have those on their face. It kind of looks like they have a little bit of five o'clock shadow. Crocodiles have them all over their body. So if I were to flip this guy over and show you his belly, you're going to see a black dot on each scale. So that is the better way to tell. It's not really the safest way because um, if you're close enough to flip a crocodile over, you're probably too close. Um, but it is the best way to tell for sure. The absolute best way to tell though is an alligator will see you later and a crocodile will see you in a while. So his mouth is open right now. Um, that does not mean he's being aggressive, okay? This is an animal that is very, very defensive. Although this may look like a super scary, dangerous crocodile, um, it's only about that big off the ground, okay? I am much, much larger than this animal and the camera that's going in front of its face also looks larger to him. So this guy is actually much more afraid of us than we are of him. Right now he's opening up his mouth, basically just kind of saying, hey, I'm dangerous, get away from me. So some of the main differences between alligators and crocodiles, um, one of your most important ones is gonna be your location. Florida is the only place that you can find alligators and crocodiles living together. Um, you can find the American alligator, um, and then in the very, very tip of Florida, you have the American crocodile. That's, like I said, the only place you can find them living together in the wild. In captivity, it's a little bit different. Pretty much if you're in the old world, it's gonna be almost entirely crocodiles. If you're in the new world, it might be an alligator or a caiman if you're in most of South America. In South America, there are also a few crocodile species as well. So location is gonna be one of your big, um, kind of important ones. And then your other important ones are gonna be more towards the face. So if you look at this guy's snout, he has a V-shaped snout. You'll hear this very often. Um, crocodiles have a V-shaped snout, alligators have a U-shaped snout. This does work for most crocodilian species, just not all of them. There are some crocodilian species like the Osteolamus, the dwarf crocodiles that have fairly U-shaped snouts. And there are some alligators. Um, and when I say alligators, I'm referring to caiman, like spectacled caiman, um, dwarf caiman that are technically part of the alligatorde family that have V-shaped snouts. So the U-shaped snout um, and V-shaped snout is not the best way to tell. The better way to tell is the teeth. So when this guy closes his mouth, you can see his bottom and his top teeth. Um, for that, we say crisscross crocodile. An alligator, when an alligator closes his mouth, you can see it's um, only its top teeth because his bottom teeth stick into sockets on the roof of his mouth. This doesn't work for all individual crocodilians though. Um, we have some animals like Darth Gator, who's our large American alligator that has snaggle teeth that poke out. He's just not a perfect alligator, but don't worry you guys, we don't ever tell him that. Um, so that doesn't work for every single individual, but it does work for most species. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed learning about crockpot here.